Hi, I'm Joan Dukum and today's morning musings is foundation and freedom. I'm doing a series of daily morning musings and I'm using posts from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these a few years ago and the world has completely changed since then. So if I encounter anything that is out of date, I will stop and give you the most recent information. At the end, I will summarize the topic based on what's going on in the world today. Also, I have some special offers, so stay tuned to the very end to see what they are. Foundation and freedom. This is a pretty big topic on many different levels. We have this physical world, which to all appearances requires structure in order to create form. We have the non-physical world, the realm of spirit or energy or consciousness, which is limitless, and yet it is what manifests form. From the physical world perspective, manifestation requires effort. It takes work to make something. It requires time and materials to create anything biological or technical or any other form. From the non-physical perspective. It's instantaneous. Reality takes place in the blink of an eye and disappears as rapidly as well. In order to create form from consciousness, it requires non-attachment and no effort or effortlessness. A simplistic explanation is that thoughts become things. We have an idea, we give it energy, and it shows up in our lives. We think of something we don't want and it shows up as well. We view the world through our thought perspectives, so that colors what we manifest as well. Often when you let go of of trying to manifest something or someone in your life, it comes to you. Why is that? Because you've let go of effort and then you've allowed the universe to bring it to you. When you focus on creating something, put all your thoughts and attention on it, and it doesn't come about, it's probably because you're holding on to it energetically, which keeps it as a desire rather than a reality. Some people flop over to the other side in terms of letting go. They release completely and just do whatever comes to mind. Some things manifest, some things don't. They don't don't care because they're just enjoying the ride. And that works too, or not. Sometimes you need to create inner space for what you want to manifest. You do all of the above suggestions for creating wealth or a soulmate, and your inner life is a mess. You're up to your ears in credit card debt, or you're carrying resentments about your ex. Those are indicators that you don't have room in your life for something different. The non-physical world is limitless and joyous and represents freedom to us. When we desire prosperity, we're really desiring freedom. Freedom from worry, freedom from working at a job we don't love. But when we think of what it would take to provide a foundation for that, it feels like restrictions. Why have a budget? Why keep track of a checkbook balance? If I win the lotto and am fantastically wealthy, I won't need any of that, which is why most lottery winners go bankrupt within five years. In actuality, structure brings freedom. Being aware of spending opens up spaces for income to flow. It's indicating to the universe that you can handle more. There's a difference between inner structure, where your inner life is organized, and external control. One comes from consciousness and allows the real you to flow through, and the other comes from fear which is a body level experience. Notice the difference as you navigate. People feel the same way about commitment and relationships. They get scared of committing because they think they'll be trapped. In reality, you're committing to yourself and to being in integrity with your values. Being faithful to your inner consciousness can shift all your relationships. Those that are in alignment with you show up. Those that aren't either transform or fade away. All it takes is making a decision in the present moment and taking the next indicated steps. Becoming aware of your spending habits, making time to meditate, to spend enjoyable time with yourself. All you need to do is that first baby step and go from there. Foundation leads to freedom. What can you do, shift, let go of, take action on today to get there? And let me know in the comments below because I love reading your comments. And I have to say that all of these are great suggestions and it probably feels more challenging today because our foundation is being shaken up. Those things that we thought were our foundation are disintegrating. Greater consciousness is coming into form and it's like a greater light. It's a higher vibration. And so it's all those more denser concepts and ideas that we have relied upon are disintegrating. This higher vibration is kind of like an earthquake to those more dense vibrations. Just in general, in the world, in life, none of those external things are your true foundation. Your true foundation is from inside of yourself. As you get more in touch with who you are as consciousness, the more in touch you are with your internal foundation and the easier it will be to navigate through these really challenging times. So if you like these videos, please share them with your family and friends and also on social media. And please click the like button 
button and subscribe. And that way you're telling YouTube to share this far and wide and get this out to people who really need to see this. And if you want a free sample of one of my consciousness techniques, click on the link below to the Skybox technique. It'll give you an expanded perspective of your life and show you where your real foundation is. And if you want some manifestation techniques, I have a self-study course called Manifesting Money and Miracles. And there you learn how to work with higher frequencies in order to completely transform your life. And if you want to know more, my website is joan-nukem.com. There you can learn about my individual sessions where I take a look at you as consciousness and what's going on in your life today. And I can answer any questions you might have. And it's all recorded just for you. If you want to learn how to do this for yourself, Manifesting Money and Miracles is a good preparation for my coaching special where I work with you one-on-one -on -one and give you specifically chosen consciousness techniques for my toolkit so that you can transform your life. You can find out more at my website. So go to my website, joan-newcomb.com, and I'll see you tomorrow in another Morning Musings.